Something I get commonly asked is how to produce formulae and how to write Greek letters for equations in Microsoft Word. So we're going to look at two different ways of doing it here. So the first is if we just want a single Greek letter. So suppose we want to say the parameter of interest is alpha. So in order to access Greek letters, what we can do is just type in our letter and change our font to symbol font. Symbol font will give us all of the Greek letters. So if we change the A to symbol font, it will show as alpha. You can see that I've got a few others here. So B, S, D, and C, we change all of these. And you can see we've got beta, sigma, delta, and chi. And so the other thing that is useful to know is that if we want capital of our Greek letters, we just do capital of the corresponding letter. So for sigma, we had uh, lowercase s for the lowercase sigma and then the capital sigma, and the same for the delta. So if we just needed a Greek letter, this is nice and easy. We just change the font of the particular letter and just type as we go. If we want to do an equation, Microsoft Word has a built-in equation editor. We can go to insert in the ribbon and on the right hand side we'll see this uh, button that says equation. If we hit the drop down we can see there's some sample equations. Uh, it's unlikely these are the ones that you need. But if we just click the button then we'll get this little equation window and then it's really just point and click. So we have a set of lots of different symbols uh, which includes the Greek letters if we want the Greek letters. Uh, we have fractions, superscripts, superscripts and subscripts, summation, pretty much all of the different pieces of operators that we might need in order to create our equation. So suppose we were doing the formula for the mean. So we'd start off with uh, our symbol for the mean and we're going to do the sample mean which is x bar. So we need an accent. We want to have the little bar and we can see we've got a whole range here of different accents. When we type in a letter by default, it will italicize it. Uh, if we want an equals, we can type it off the keyboard or we can click it. You can see that if I press the equals there, it carries on the accents. So what we need to do is make sure that we move out of that little cell that has the accent, then press equals. And so then we're going to have a fraction we can put in a summation. Depending on how fancy we want to get, uh, we can put in just the simple one or the one with all of the notation. We'll go with this one. And then we can type in the bits that are attached to it. Uh, here we're going to want a, another, uh, this time we're going to want a subscript. So don't really need to know uh, the details of this. This is really just demonstrating if we want to show a particular formula, uh, what is it going to look like? So here the mean, we add up all the numbers, we divide by how many there are. So we can use this for pretty much any formula, once we click out of it, you can see that now we're just back into our regular Word document, but we can click into that object. Down the end here we have equation, uh, and we've got all the different bits and pieces. For those of you that are more advanced, you can see there is actually LaTeX uh, embedded in here, although if you're familiar with LaTeX, you are likely to be using that instead of Word anyway. Hopefully this was helpful. It's certainly very useful when you're typing up uh, projects or your research to be able to have quick and easy access to Greek letters and formulae. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to support more academic content for masters and PhD students who are embarking on their research journey. Also see below the video for links to our YouTube, Facebook community and Skillshare.